Hello everyone. Welcome to Preface No Match Junior. I'm Kelby. Today I'm going to show you how to check multiple layers of conditions. This app is called What's My Zodiac. What you need to do is first choose your birthday at the day picker. Press OK and the app will tell you your zodiac. Let's start with the designer. I will start with the 90% dog designer. You can see that I have some layouts and some labels. Also, some media files in the project. You can pause the video, replicate the designer and find your own picture first. Don't worry, you have learned all these components and concepts in the previous lessons. I believe you can do this. If you really want to start with this copy tool, feel free to contact us. We are happy to send you the copy and the revision materials. Ready? Let's start. First, we want the front arrangement to fill the whole screen. Let's set the height of vertical arrangement 1 to fill 10. Nice! Next, we want the image of the zodiac sign having a fixed size. Let's set the height to 20% and width to 30%. Then, we will introduce a new component today. It's date picker. You can find it in the user interface section. You can think of date picker as a mixture of the button and the multiplier. When you click on the button, it shows you a box where you can input a date and submit. Or cancel the input. Then, we will introduce a new component today. It's date picker. You can find it in the user interface section. You can think of date picker as a mixture of the button and the multiplier. When you click on the button, it shows you a box where you can input a date and submit. Or cancel the input. Let's rename the base picker 1 to birthday DP. Also, let's change the text to choose your birthday. Make it bigger. And change the background color. And test color. Perfect. Nice. The designer part is done. Let's go to the blog part. I will pass it to another teacher to explain the code. Thank you, Gelby. Hello, everyone. My name is Essen, and uh, I'm gonna continue with this project. So when the app is started. We want to make our zodiac sign to empty. That means when screen one initialize, screen one initialize, I'm gonna try and make my zodiac label dot text to empty. So I'm gonna just get a string block and I'm gonna leave it as it is. Next, I'm going to use a select set date. We should know the name and the image of the zodiac sign. For that, we are going to use a block called after date set, which is going to be in date picker. So I'm going to come into birthday DP and I'm going to get this event handler, which is after date set. All right, that means it is going to run after user selects a date and pre press OK. Next, 
we should set if it's January, then which sign should it be? And if it's February, March, or some other month, what should we do? Let's just start with January. If you were born in January, you could either be Capricorn or Aquarius, right? Of course, it, it, it further depends on which days you are born in. But let's just talk about January for a while. So for, for that, I'm going to get if then blog. And I'm going to say if you were born in January. For that, I'm going to get um, equal sign from maths. And uh, I'm going to come into my birth DP and I'm looking for a month. So it's going to be this blog, set blog, and I'm just going to choose month. Okay, so if my month is 1, that means January, then what? Now we are going to introduce a new concept called nested conditionals. Until now, we have used if-then statements and placed some blocks to execute depending on if the condition is true. But what if we place if then inside another if then? If this condition is true and another condition is true, then we are, we are going to execute the blocks inside. Let's say if something is a fruit and it's of a red color, then we have to print apple. These are the two conditions we have. Also, we have multiple things to execute for a fruit depending on its color. If we don't use nested conditionals, we can only write something is a fruit and is red. If something is fruit and it's orange and, and so on. With nested conditionals, which we are going to use later on, we can write if it's a fruit once and keep adding multiple conditions. If it's a fruit, if it's of red color, if it's large in size, this helps us filter out all non-fruit items. So in this case, we have two conditions. One of them, if the month is one, which is gonna be January, of course, and the other one is the day. If the day is less or equal to 19, which means the birthday is gonna range from 1st to 19th January, the user is gonna be Capricorn. Otherwise, the user is gonna be Aquarius because he's probably gonna be born from 19 to 31st January. So we already have our first condition, which is gonna be month. Now we need to determine if the user is born before or after 19 January. So for the second condition, I'm gonna use the concept of nested conditionals, and I'm gonna place this if then else block inside the original if then block. And now the condition that I'm gonna set is gonna be if birthday dp day is less or equal to 19. so birthday dp and i'm going to get any of these set blocks and then i'm going to say day of course i need um less or equal to so i'm going to come into maths and i'm gonna choose less or equal to place it here okay the other side of the condition is going to be number 19. I'm going to get maths and type 19. Okay, so if the user is born in January and is born before 19th January, then what do I want? Then I want to change my zodiac image and come to zodiac IMG and set picture. Okay, and of course I have to tell the name of the file. So I'm going to get a string in here. Okay, so what is the name of our image for Capricorn? For Capricorn, it's capricorn.png. I'm going to type capricorn.png. And we want to change the label as well. So I'm going to come into Zodiac label. Again, get any of these set blocks. And in this time, I'm going to choose text. I'm gonna get string blog again and I'm gonna just type Capricorn. Capricorn. Perfect. Okay, if the user is born before 19 January, then we are gonna do this. Else, what do we do? 
as we're gonna set the zodiac image to Aquarius and we're gonna say Aquarius for our zodiac label. So I'm gonna just duplicate these two blocks and instead of Capricorn I'm gonna say Aquarius. Okay, and I'm gonna say this one is gonna be Aquarius. Perfect, and I'm gonna put this one in here. So we are done with January, now we have to code for February. And for February, I'm gonna get this ELSIF and place the month condition in here. So I'm gonna just duplicate it. And if the month is going to be two, then what? Now, then I need to check if someone is born before or 18 February, because that is when the sign changes, right? I want to duplicate and type 18. But of course, I'm going to still need if then else block in here. So I'm going to just click in here and get another if then else. And the condition for this one is going to be if day is less or equals to 18. If that is the case, if someone is born on or before 18 February, then he is going to have the sign of Aquarius. So we can just duplicate these two blocks and put them in here. But what if someone is born um, after 18 February? And then for that, we're going to need to change its sign to Pisces. Okay. And of course, I'm going to change the uh, zodiac label as well. Oops, not this. I'm going to change zodiac label to Pisces. So, Pisces. Perfect. Similarly, we can code for March, April, and so on. And because there's a lot of copy and paste stuff in here, I'm going to pause the video and code for the other months. For you guys, Please pause the video here and try to replicate the else if statements. They are similar to each other, of course. And you guys can search on Google for zodiac dates and it will tell you the range of each date and each sign. So I'm done with my um, coding for months. One, two, three, and until December it's gonna be. Yeah, it's until December. Now, for the better experience for the user, we can show the selected date in the date picker. Let's just put it in the beginning. I'm thinking we can put it somewhere in here. So I'm going to go into birth DP and get text. Text. Okay. And then I'm going to need to join because I have to combine date month and year so come in to text get join add one more string in here and one more and the last one perfect at first i'm going to put day so birthday dp dot day Okay, and in here I'm going to put a slash or this is where actually, okay, and then I can just duplicate it and instead I can choose month, duplicate it, put it in here, and of course the last one is going to be the year. So it's going to be year. Perfect. Lastly, when a date is selected previously, if the user wants to choose that date again, the date picker should display the date previously selected. If it's the start of the app and no date is previously selected, the date picker will just display the date here of today. For that, I'm gonna come into touchdown. So come into birthday.touchdown. And now I'm gonna Go into birthday and select 
set date to display. So what date do I want to display? I'm just gonna get you and duplicate it again. I'm gonna set it to month and duplicate it again to day. And I'm gonna put it back into set date to display. So year, month, and day. Perfect. So we are done with our coding. So let's do a little recap of what we have learned today. We started off by learning about date picker. It is like a button. When you click on it, you can select a date. Second, we learned the concept of nested conditionals. It helps us to check multiple layers of conditions. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy the project. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get our daily content. I'm Kelby and this is Breakfast Nomad Junior.